Finding a place to light up in Arkansas just got a lot tougher. For five years, smoking has been banned in public places as well as in vehicles where a child under six was present. But the age has now been raised to 14. So does this go too far? Joining us now is Stacy Nelkin, a mother, parenting expert and founder of The Daily Affair, and Neil Asbury, a father and radio talk show host. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Good morning. Dave. Stacy, let me start with you. I don't think anyone's going to sit here and argue about, hey, you should smoke <laughs> right in the presence of, of your children in the car with the windows up. But is it the government's job to tell you what is right and wrong? Well, we're, we're not talking about protecting our freedoms. We are talking about protecting our children. We all know how dangerous secondhand smoke is. And our job as a parent is to take care of our children's health and safety first and foremost. And is it the government's job to mandate that? Well, you know, it has been proven that when you ban certain things, it does change the behavior. And so if a parent is going to get fined, mm -hmm. and I don't think $25 is really enough in California, it's $100, it will stop parents from smoking in the cars when they realize they might get a ticket, just like the seatbelt law. Neil, why not protect our children who don't have a choice in this in most cases? And it'd be lovely if we lived in a world where parents didn't smoke with their kids in the car, and in some cases with the windows up, but that's not the world in which we live. So why not have this law? Well, my common sense tells me that, you know, parents should not smoke in front of their children anyway. No matter how silly and repugnant or stupid we find it, it's still not the state's responsibility to legislate against it. I mean, there's far bigger problems out there that they should be going after. I come from a state, Florida, to where deadbeat dads just get away without paying child support. So why aren't we putting our investment into going after that to where it really matters? So I think that this, we live in a culture today, and it's sad, Dave, where our government feels like they have to run our lives and they have to legislate everything for us. And I think this is just another feel good for those who don't smoke. You know, like you said, the common sense says, yeah, parents should not smoke in front of their children. But some people might think that you shouldn't drink in front of your children too. Does that mean now that we're gonna legislate against drinking in front of our children? Where does it but, end? Well, I'd like to say that in Ireland and in Wales, they're actually going to ban smoking in the entire country. So I'd be all for our country you know, banning this had become a federal issue. You're not suggesting we go that far. Well, why not? If it'll stop parents from smoking in cars when children are present. I had uh, asthma growing up. My brother and I got asthma directly related to our parents smoking in front of us. They didn't know then. We know, we know now the damage. Neil, last word on this. Then if we shouldn't pass laws like this, should we not pass laws that say you can't talk on the cell phone in a car? It's about protecting others, ultimately. Well, you know, again, common sense tells us that smoking in front of our children is not the right thing to do. However, there has to be, we have to not get involved in the sacred bond between a child and a parent. And when you have a parent that's out there trying to do a good job, and though they may be smokers, I don't just think, I, that doesn't rise up to me to be something that the government should be involved in. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Neil Asbury, Stacey Nelkin, this is an intriguing debate. Let's <laughs> continue it on Twitter. Find me at Fox Dave Briggs, and let's continue the debate. Should you smoke in your car to the state legislate that? Thank you both.